Robert Kiyosaki is one of the most well-known names in personal finance, largely due to the success of his best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. He wrote that workers won't get rich toiling away at conventional 9-to-5 jobs. With a net worth of $80 million, Robert Kiyosaki is one of the most successful entrepreneurs, and he's always been more than willing to give advice. In this video, we're going to be looking at the top advice from Robert Kiyosaki. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below. At the end of every month, we'll be picking one lucky person from the comments to be shouted out in our videos. But without further ado, let's get on to the best advice from Robert Kiyosaki. So Kiyosaki stresses that you don't want to wait for the government or a financial advisor or your boss to take care of you. You must take control of your own finances. You must get financially educated and take responsibility for your life and your future. So that leads us to number one, financial education, the key to wealth. Kiyosaki has said that his true passion is teaching. He created the cash flow board game in the financial education based Rich Dad Company to teach people about money management. The board game is designed to simulate real life financial strategies and scenarios. Financial education and getting smarter with your money is always a great way to prepare for your future, whatever it holds, good and bad. So you can tell he takes education very seriously, making a whole game for people to try out, and that leads us to number two. Take control of your finances. No one cares as much about your financial security as you do. So his advice is to take responsibility for your finances or take orders all your life. He says you're either a master of money or a slave to it. Number three, pay yourself first. Budgeting isn't only about paying the bills. It's also about paying yourself first by socking away money routinely. He says when he was younger, he was committed in investing an expense in his budget. He says each month, I paid myself through our expense column, the money we needed to save up for and purchase assets that would provide us cash flow. It was an expense that made him rich. Number four, having a contingency plan. In the event of a job loss, decrease in income, medical emergency, or other unexpected situations, it's important to have a contingency plan and cash reserves to cover expenses. Setbacks often leave us reeling since they're often unexpected and can involve high emotion. And when the emotion goes up, intelligence goes down. So Kiyosaki said he tries to step back, calm his emotions, and ask himself, what's the lesson here, what can you learn from this, and how can he be better prepared in the future? Number five, spend on assets, not liabilities. To get ahead financially, Kiyosaki recommends that you spend money on assets that generate wealth, such as real estate. You can't grow your wealth if you're spending it on cars, clothes, and vacations. Now that makes sense. Yet, Kiyosaki said that the people should not consider their house as an asset, even when it's paid off. He says that the home he lives in still costs him more money every month for utilities, taxes, insurance, and maintenance. So it's simple, invest money where you can profit from it. Number six, make money work for you. He's often said that stashing your money in a savings account, earning a low rate of return won't make you rich. Invest it, he says, put your money to work for you instead of working for your money all your life. Number seven, knowing the difference between good and bad debt. Contrary to what you might think, Kiyosaki said that not all debt is bad. The first step in debt strategy is to understand the difference between good debt and bad debt and how good debt can make you rich. For example, getting a mortgage to buy an income generating rental property is considered good debt. Bad debt is when consumers overspend and find themselves with too much credit card debt. He's had first-hand experience with bad debt, but he systematically paid it off. He learned from that and looks for new and creative ways to make good debt work for him in business and real estate. Number eight, learn from your mistakes. Now, like I just said, there was a time where he did have bad debt, but he learned from that mistake. And when Kiyosaki worked for Xerox, he wanted to learn how to be a better salesman. He volunteered for a charity and made cold calls to ask for donations. He says that the more he failed as a volunteer, he learned from those failures. The more he succeeded, he became a salesman. At the end of the day, successful people are those who practice, 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 fail, 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 and eventually succeed as a result. Number nine, take advantage of market downturns. One of the tenets of investing is to buy low and sell high. Yet emotions often drive investing decisions and people end up getting out of the market when it tumbles. But that's when it can be a good time to buy up stock to add to your portfolio. In an interview, Kiyosaki said that true investors make more when markets crash. Number 10, work with the team. To succeed, you need support, especially when it comes to business and investing. Money is important to success, but it's only a component, he says. There are other people who help a venture to be successful. He says that the reason why employees and self-employed people often lose against business owners and investors is because they are individuals playing against a whole team. So it's pretty simple. Invest in yourself, make smart choices, learn from your mistakes, and build a team. And with that being said, that wraps up our list of the top advice that Robert Kiyosaki has given. In the comments below, leave your thoughts on this advice. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like.